uh, first thing that we're going to um, do here, I'm going to go through an example, then I'm going to have you try one on your own. Okay, and that is when you're multiplying rational expressions, you're going to follow these steps. Okay, the first thing that you'll do is you're going to factor all the expressions individually. Okay, so uh, as you factor these, you're going to sort of treat them as one single fraction. What that means is when I go through and I start to factor each of the fractions involved, so I have the difference of two cubes, that's going to factor into uh, a binomial and a trinomial. The binomial is just the sum of the two bases being cubed, in this case x and negative 3. And then my trinomial I'm going to build from the outside in. I take my first term x and square it. My outside is the second term negative 3 squared. And then my inside term is just going to be the opposite of the product of these terms. So x times a negative 3 is negative 3x. Change the sign, giving you positive 3x. Okay, that's all divided by my monomial factor, 4x. So I treat that just as a single fraction written in factored form. Okay, what I'm then going to do is I will generally just use a little uh, a dot to represent multiplication. But you could also just keep this all as one uh, single fraction. I'm going to factor my next fraction's numerator, take out a 2, okay, remove any common factors. And then in the denominator here, I can uh, reverse FOIL. The two factors of negative 6, whose sum is a minus 1, is negative 3 and positive 2. Okay, so that's my first step. I'm just treating this as one single fraction. You can write it all as a, a single fraction, too, if you want. But then you're going to cancel any common factors. And so when you cancel, they can be from different fractions. Again, you're treating this all as a single fraction, so the x plus 2s cancel, but so do the x minus 3s, even though they came from different fractions. Okay, and then this 2 and this 4 reduce to leaving a factor of uh, 2 in the denominator. Okay, so those are all, my, uh, all the parts of this that do cancel. And so my final answer when I enter it, Along the numerator, I just have my x squared plus 3x plus 9. And in my denominator, I have my 2, and I have my x, and everything else got canceled. So this right here is my simplified expression. And then what you want to do, because I canceled factors from the denominator, I do have to identify additional domain restrictions. And now, when I look at this, I can see from my simplified form that x can't be what value? I see that it can't be zero, so I don't need to include that as, a an, as an additional restriction. The only additional restrictions are the factors that got canceled from the denominator in the original form. So what value of x would have given you a zero for this factor? Three, and what value of x would give you a zero here? Negative two. Negative two. Neither of those uh, restrictions is apparent in the simplified form, so I have to include them separately. Once again, when, this, when you wind up graphing these, uh, these additional restrictions are holes in the graph. The restrictions that you see in the simplified form are vertical asymptotes of the graph. 